Hallo. Gin Market Golf Paul Sen in Seoul, Korea will tell you how to fix a slice. Please watch to the end. To fully understand the fundamentals, you need to know more about the linear swing and the rotational swing. The linear swing is a swing that emphasizes weight transfer and refers to a method of striking the ball by shifting the weight from the backswing to the right foot and then to the left. The debate over which is better, weight shift or rotation, is an old debate in baseball batting. Hitting while shifting or shifting weight, or conversely spinning or spinning. Hitting. Which one can hit far more accurately? Debate about it. Even in golf, weight transfer was important in the past. There's a reason why weight transfer or sliding is necessary. Because it was believed that low point control depended on the position of the body at impact in the downswing. Then they say you don't hit the ground. Next, you have to slide to avoid over the top from the top of the backswing. That way, you can swing the ball in and out without slashing the ball too steeply. But it can cause big problems. If you slide your upper body to the right, you have to straighten your right arm early to hit the ball. Yes. No one wants to slice or hit back. But side sliding isn't the only savior. Gone are the days of weight shifting and side sliding swings. In the Haiti of Jack Nicholas in the 70s, there were simple guidelines like, keep your left arm straight. Don't move your head. In the backswing, I emphasized a huge shift in weight to the right and then to the left again. Wateri Gandari danced in an exquisite and artistic rhythm. In the late 80s, David Ledbetter began teaching Nick Paldo using the ambiguous term, rotating weight shift which became famous as Nick Paldo's tour performance improved. The inevitable weakness of sliding is the loss of spine angle. Lateral weight shift refers to the shift of weight from the right heel to the toes of the left foot in the downswing. However, if you try to hit the ball by sliding, it causes a posterior inclination of the pelvis and loss of the angle of the spine. So you cannot hit the ball powerfully unless you jump. I've come to the conclusion that swing methods that are not anatomically biomechanically valid cannot hit further straighter, repeatedly consistently. This picture explains how Ben Hogan should turn on the downswing. Ben Hogan was an advocate of hip clearing start the downswing by tying a rubber band around his left hip and pulling it back. Don't slide, you're telling them to spin and hit the ball. As you can see in this picture. The right arm is under the left arm and shows a right side bend with a slanted shoulder slope. However, proponents of sliding believe that the cause of the slice is excessive or fast rotation. E. It is interpreted that the body opens quickly and slices. That is why it says that it cannot be sliced if it is not rotated quickly. Now, it's time to conclude. The slicing treatment advocated by rotation advocates is right lateral flexion plus pelvic lordosis only, plus right shoulder abduction and retention, plus right shoulder transverse abduction and left hand cocking maintenance, and left forearm abduction and left wrist bowing. So at impact, the clubvis is square and rotates better, ultimately resulting in greater speed generation and longer hitting. This means that there is a difference in slicing therapy between linear swings and rotational swings. Depending on what type of swing you have, slicing therapy will be different. That's it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.